I'm Angela Linto. I'm professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the University of Chicago, and I'm the principal investigator for the Extreme Universe Space Observatory on a superpressure balloon that we called Uzo SPB. Uzo SPB will fly um, from Wanaka, New Zealand, on a NASA superpressure balloon for what we hope to be a very long, ultra long duration uh, balloon flight. Hopefully, we can make a record this time around. While it's flying, Uzo SPB will be observing from above the atmosphere the Southern Ocean, searching for the most energetic cosmic particles that we've ever observed. The origin of these cosmic particles are, is a great mystery that we would like to solve with this mission. Uzo SPB is a refractor telescope made with 1.2 meter lenses, um, and these lenses are state of the art in their lightness. They're made with Fresnel a design so that they can be very light and lifted by, by the balloon. Um, we have a three uh, meter optical bench, and then on the top of the optical bench is this uh, wonderfully um, fast camera, an ultra fast UV camera that takes 400,000 pictures a second. So these 400,000 pictures a second are monitoring particles that will be arriving on the atmosphere at the speed of light, very close to the speed of light. Now we don't know what's causing these particles, if these are supermassive black holes in centers of galaxies that are able to accelerate these cosmic messengers or maybe very fast, ultra fast spinning pulsars, very tiny uh, fast spinning stars. Um, we really don't know and this is what we're looking forward to figuring out with this wonderful uh, opportunity to fly on an ultra long duration flight. This wonderful opportunity for Uzo SPB to fly on an ultra long duration flight will open this new window of observing cosmic rays from above which will uh, be the pioneering mission for a space mission in the future that we're planning right now that would um, be able to really solve this mystery by enlarging the volume of the atmosphere that we can observe at once. These particles are very rare. They have made this long journey. They're incredibly mysterious, but they only reach the Earth one per kilometer square per century. So we need a huge amount of volume of the atmosphere being observed at once to be able to see many of them. Uso SBB was designed by a 16-country collaboration which is geared towards a space mission. And the space mission that we designed first was for the ISS, the International Space Station, and a balloon opportunity came up and this became the way to prove our technology. So we're you know, very excited about this opportunity. One difference between a, a you know, space mission and a balloon mission is that we can involve a lot more people in a balloon mission uh, that are doing undergraduate and graduate studies uh, under this project. We have actually in Monaco three undergraduates and a number of graduate students. Now that we're ready to go, it's time to thank so much uh, effort from many teams uh, to start NASA for their support and for the team here in, in Monaco Airport. Um, the Columbia Scientific Ballooning Facility that we usually call CSBF. Uh, they have been an amazing team uh, interacting with us uh, at, any, at all levels and making this um, inter integration of the science payload and the balloon effort seamless. Um, it's really been a great uh, experience for everybody in our team and obviously uh, I have to thank our a huge collaboration of 16 countries and, and in particular the seven ones that are present here in Wanaka and the local uh, community that has been brilliant at uh, warm, uh, warm welcoming us into their family and you know, it's just been a wonderful experience altogether so thank you everybody.